They are going to teach you all about words and just how important they really are. We like to add our story called the Chapter and Peter He Chose. This is one of our favorite stories and this shows us even spell words can be powerful. We have added some of our own words to the story for you and to the angel. by Peter H. Reynolds. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. They are all so wonderful. If I just had to pick my own, I just couldn't. Some people collect coins. Money, I'll it someday. Others collect rocks. So many rocks, so little time. Some collect art. This piece by Miss Pears is simply to die for. Some collect books. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, this little guy's missing a leg. Others collect baseball cards. I cannot wait to show my collection of baseball cards to my friends at school. They will want to trade for sure. Some collect Comic books. I wonder what it would be like to have a superpower of my own. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru is perfectly polite. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped out of him. He, collect, oh, he collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. Short and sweet words. Two simple treats and multi simple songs that sounded like little songs. There were words he did not know the meaning of the words. But they were marvelous to say. Then, whisper, stretch. They were words whose sounds were perfectly to, suited to their meaning. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action. One day, while transporting them, Jerome slipped and his work went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had became jumbled. Big words next to little words. Sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together. Words he had not imagined being side by side. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share what the world knew, what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he entered his collections of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below, scurrying about second word from the breeze. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. The end.